Hollywood powerhouse CAA joins blockchain video network Theta. What's going on everyone? Win with Ryan here and we're going to start this video off with a quick giveaway. We're giving away $100 and all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment below. Every single comment gives you an entry to win and then go over to winwithryan.com to make sure that you are subscribed to my Make Money newsletter. That's where we announce the winner every single month. So with that being said, keep winning. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Win With Ryan, where we search the crypto headlines, surf the crypto markets, and we surf the world. So today, we got some great news for Theta. Theta. All right, so Theta had a severe, severe pullback during the flash crash. And really, I mean, it was more than that. It just continued on with Theta, went down severely, went down below my entry point, actually. So uh, if some of you guys were able to pick up Theta when it dropped so big, congratulations for you, because that was definitely a good move. Still one of my favorite tokens for sure. Theta is the way to go. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this article that just came out for Theta, and then we'll jump over and we'll look at the charts for Theta. We'll look at the daily charts and the four hour, and we'll do a little price prediction of where Theta could be going here in the short term and also longer term. And then we'll go over to CoinMarkets Pro and we'll check out the Vortex score for Theta. We have not checked in on Theta for quite a few days, so let's get right into it. All right, so with the Theta videos, I always like to start out right here, thetatoken.org. When you go to thetatoken.org, this is it. You're going to have all of this information that you can pull up. Theta mainnet countdown continues 26 days and 20 hours, which is really excited. exciting. You can join to, you can become an edge node. All you do is click this button here, it takes you right here. You can download it for Windows or Mac, whichever one that you have in whatever operating system that you are currently using. But what we're here for today is right here, hot off the press, Hollywood powerhouse CAA joins Theta Enterprise Validator Council. Let's go take a look at this article. The addition of Creative Artist Agency as a validator brings the video network closer to full decentralization, said Theta Lab CEO Mitch Liu. In this article by Daniel Palmer, top talent and sports agency, Creative Artist Agency, CAA, has joined Theta to help with governance and validation of its blockchain-based video delivery network. CAA will work alongside seven other external Theta Enterprise Validator and Governance Council members, including Google, Samsung, Sodi, as well as major private equity and cryptocurrency firms. The membership means CAA will run a validator node and help ensure the robustness of the network, Theta announced in a press release on Thursday. Theta sets out to enable video platform clients to earn more revenue and reduce delivery costs. Users are rewarded for sharing bandwidth to help relay video on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. It also has a non-fungible token marketplace called ThetaDrop. We believe that blockchain technology and the rise of digital collectible NFTs will bring unprecedented opportunities to our family of storytellers, trendsetters, icons, and thought leaders in the entertainment industry, Michael Yanover, CAA's head of business development, said in a statement. With CAA on board, over half of our validators are now run by external partners, advancing us closer to full decentralization, said Theta Labs co-founder and CEO Mitch Liu. Theta's native T-Fuel token has a market cap of $1.6 billion, according to CoinGecko data. So this is really huge news for Theta. Like this is major, major positive news. With the 26 days left for the Theta mainnet drop, which is gonna be huge. Also the Theta NFT, Theta drop, I actually purchased a couple of the drops already. Let me go check that out for you. All right, so when you log into Theta Drop, this is what you get. So the next drop is actually in 28 minutes and you can click view the drop over here. Uh, this is the silent auction one, another silent auction, another silent auction. And then these are the packs. You can buy the Champions Legend pack for 350, all in pack for 150, base set pack. So I've purchased two base set packs now. I've got uh, the drop number one and drop number two. So here you can see what I have. I've got uh, drop number one was these five right here. I got the base set pack and that was 50 bucks. I opened that pack. 
I'm not sure if these will ever be worth anything, the World Poker Tour ones, but uh, you can sell individual moments later on, I'm assuming. And then this pack, I've, I've un, it's unopened. So I don't know if it's gonna hold more value as an unopened pack, like with cards do, or finding like a special card in that pack is gonna be huge. No one really knows yet because this is just getting started. But the fact I've got a couple of them from the very beginning, it's really exciting. Uh, like I said, I support Theta. I am a edge node. Uh, I do have, uh, as you can see, a Theta Drops, great project all around. Theta Drops gonna be cool. I have T-Fuel, I'm about to stake T-Fuel. So let's go jump over to the, ch the actual charts and take a look at what we have. All right, if you remember from a couple of uh, months back, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you saw that video. But right now, as you can see, Theta Token, I wanted to check this as well. It's ranked number 18 by market cap at Coin Market Cap. So Theta is ranked number 18. Let's take a look at what T Fuel is here. So if we do T Fuel, Theta Fuel, Theta Fuel's ranked number 50 right now. So, and the market cap is now up to $2.2 billion. So it is moving. And also the price of T Fuel is climbing as well. So right now T Fuel is sitting at 42 cents. So it's definitely pumping. This was just 22 cents uh, not too long ago. Let's take a look within the month. It went all the way down to 19 cents so that would have been the time to stake your t fuel buy a bunch of t fuel it has now from 19 cents basically 20 cents gone all the way up to 42 cents so the growth 100 since that bottom which was only back on may 20th so may 19th may 20th area let's go take a look at the charts all right so here we have theta on the daily chart and as you can see it came down this was a massive, massive, crazy drop. I mean, it came all the way down to here, which used to be a resistance line for a little while, and then it broke through and became a support line, but it came all the way down and tapped that $3.75, basically. And that was just on May, tw May 19th. So on May 19th, it came all the way down from the all-time high, which the all-time high was at $16.50. It came all the way down to $3.75. Five cents. That is absolutely crazy. And then the recovery already. So from 375, it is currently sitting at $9.45, which is really, really strong. So $9.45 is where it's sitting right now. And I know when we did this previous low to the previous high on our FIB, we were looking at before the massive drop, our prediction was $17.32. And then the next level would have been $20.35. But now we have the, ma the major correction, obviously, the flash crash in the market. On the daily, you can see that our moving averages are turning up. Look at this RSI is absolutely going bonkers up. That is fantastic. It came down and tapped out 30. That's what we always talk about, right? When do you wanna buy? You wanna buy when the market is at 30. This is not financial advice, it's just financial entertainment. But when the RSI is sitting at a 30, that is usually a bottom signal. Now, when it gets up to the 80, that's the opposite, right? So we've seen when it jumps up to 80s, like right here, 89, this was a section of drop right here, and it did drop right there. And then of course, right here was when it was at 70. But with this, we also saw that it was having, the trend was up, but the RSI trend was down. So we had a divergence there. And then obviously we had our pullback, but now we've finally got this correction going, which is looking good. And so it went from 375, it's currently at 975. So basically a $6 recovery already in just two weeks. So looking strong for Theta, everything's looking good. The 20 moving average is starting to slope up. The 50 moving average is flattening out. The 200 moving average is obviously a major support on the daily. Let's go take a look at the four hour chart as well. All right, this is great news. So if we're looking at the four hour chart, we have now crossed the 20 moving average. The blue line has crossed over the 50. So now it's on the correct side and it's moving at an extreme slope, which is really good. The 50 is sloping up nice and hard as well. And they're about to, within this next couple of hours, the 20 is going to cross the 200 and then the 50 
will cross the 200 if we keep this positive momentum going. And if we keep this positive momentum going, those cross over. I mean, right now, this was already on the four hour, a call, the buy signal, May 30th on the RSI and moving average signal. As you can see right here, this happened and this was down here and it's been moving up nicely ever since. So uh, if we take a look though, if there was anything that we need to observe within the price action, there's a couple of things that I keep an eye on right here. This massive move up that just happened a little bit ago. It has a imbalance here from here to here where the wick, the, the after wick to the wick before. So on the next rebound, because there obviously price does not go up in a straight line, but it looks like we're probably going to have a correction coming back to here about $8 and 30 cents. So if you're looking for an entry, if it comes back down to 830, that's a good entry point. And then the only other entry that may happen, this is a very, very small imbalance, but it was here. So we take a look at this imbalance and we're looking at $6.95. So those are two targets to look for if you're looking for an entry point. Those are some imbalances. There are no wicks on either side of those sections on that massive run up. And uh, other than that, everything's looking good. If we take, let's say for example, this was the top. And if we took the Fibonacci from this recent bottom to that top, and we look here, the 50 is right here. And then you have the 62 level here, and then you have the 79. So that line lines up with the 70 and the 70 mark does hit sometimes. You can see this little black line right here that represents the 70 mark. And then our imbalance is right below there. So there is a potential of the next pullback, right? Because there is a pullback. Price never goes up in a straight line. And we could see it come back, tap off, retest that 695 mark. It's probably not going to happen very soon. It'll probably run up to the next level, which the next levels are looking short-term prediction, $10.35. That's where our most recent highs are. And there's no interference on the way there. So we should be able to get to $10.30. I mean, in reality, that's what we're looking at. Now let's go look at T-Fuel as well. All right, so here we have T-Fuel. And if we run the Fibonacci from the recent low to the most recent high, which was here, we can pull it over so we have a, a target. You can see that it ran up all the way to here, it came down and tested off that 50 and then sent back up. Also, we have the 20 crossing over the 50. This one actually never uh, broke below the 200 either. It did wick below the 200, but it never broke body below the 200. But this thing is freaking skyrocketing right now. I and mean, that is absolutely crazy that it went from uh, 15 cents and now it's at 45 cents. And then it's gonna potentially test that all time high 59 cents. The next target after it breaks these uh, recent highs is 51 cents. So 51 cents is where we're gonna be looking at. Once it gets to that 50 cent level though, that is a psychological barrier. So sometimes that is an interference. And then after the 50 cent level, we're looking at 64 cents. So we should see a new all time high breaking from there. And you can see that it ran up, came down, tested once, tested twice, and now it's making its W pattern. It is on its way up. So things are looking good for uh, T fuel and theta. Let's go look at the vortex score. All right, so here we have the vortex score of 60 and it's actually coming down. It was up here all the way at a 72. The price has been climbing steadily. If you look at the chart all the way since May 31st, after it hit that second, uh, the bottom of the W, it's been climbing very, very steadily. Uh, no major news quakes, um, nothing major from Cointelegraph as far as news goes. But if you look at what's going on fundamentally, $9 billion market cap, 19% rise in market cap. That is huge. We did see that it was number 18 in the market cap rank. Uh, right now, $520 million worth of volume pouring in, which is massive in the last 24 hours, it's up. And then the tweet volume is going nuts right now. But I mean, if you look though, 364. So if you're a supporter, um, tweet about Theta. Just go in there and say, hey, Theta is gonna be freaking awesome. It doesn't matter, just go make a tweet. I mean, my Theta video is pulling three to five to 10,000 viewers. 
if every one of the viewers, if you're watching this and you've made it to this point, just go shoot a tweet out. Hey, theta, 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 right? That's it. Just go freaking shoot a tweet. It'll move the uh, market potentially if we can just build some momentum, get some hype behind it. Now let's take a look at T fuel. Theta fuel. So theta fuel currently sitting at $2 billion market cap, $83 million worth of volume, 63% increase and 109% tweet volume. So it's pumping tweets. It's usually not getting hardly any tweets. Right now we got 55 on the Vortex score. No news, no updates uh, at this current moment for T Fuel. But as we know, Theta is going to run the platform with T Fuel. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Also, if you are looking for a way to make money online, my number one way to make money online, you can simply go to winwithryan.com, sign up for my Make Money newsletter, and inside there, I give you all the information of how to make money online. So that way you can take that money and invest it into cryptocurrency and build your portfolio. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for your support. Talk to you later.